So last week I said I would come back with another challenge. So if this video gets 60,000 likes, I will cover my face in ketchup and mustard and do an entire episode of Setup Wars. That sounds really stupid. I mean, you know what? Whatever. I'm just going to go with it. 60,000 likes, ketchup, mustard on the face. Yeah. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 66 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked below. As always, you guys can find everyone's gear for their setups linked down below in case you guys are interested. But here are your five contestants for this week. We have Alessandro, Anton, Chris, Jacob and Karst. Congratulations for making it on the show. First up, we have Alessandro and his triple monitor setup. All right, I just have to point this out before we go any further, but this dude has a plant growing out of a power supply case. That's hilarious. Anyways, so we have three 23 inch LG monitors, a Corsair K70 RGB, and a Logitech G502 Proteus Core mouse. It definitely looks like Alessandro's audio game is pretty strong. We have four Kenwood LSM65V speakers and a Luxman L80 amplifier which he is using as a monitor riser for all three of his displays. Very clever. The cable management game, however, can definitely be improved. There's a few things you can do to clean these up, and watching my cable management video will help you out tremendously, so I'll drop a link to it down below. The PC pushing all these pixels is running on a 5820K and the new GTX 1080 Founders Edition. There are a few mods in here as well, like the custom backplate wrapped in carbon fiber, along with a custom ROG fan grill, which was 3D printed, and a few painted parts. A very nice black and white build inside the Corsair 760T case. Aside from the setup, I do like the atmosphere of the entire room. There's these GPU pictures hung on the walls, as well as the chassis for both the Titan X and 980 Ti. Although I like the idea behind these, I would much prefer them mounted against the wall in some sort of pattern, because right now it kinda looks a little random. Just work on the cable management and your setup would be perfect. Thank you Alessandro for entering. Anton is next up with a pretty simple ultra wide setup. So we have a single 34 inch Samsung ultra wide and a Razer Death Stalker keyboard, MX Master mouse, and the Razer Firefly mouse pad. Near the back of the desk, we have a pair of Philips Hue lights, a Kingston card reader, USB hub, and a levitating light bulb. That looks pretty dope. To the left of his setup, he has a console gaming area with a massive TV that's hooked up to the Razer Leviathan speaker, and also we got the PS4 with some D-Brand skins. It also looks like he connected the PC to the TV as well. I'm guessing for when he wants to watch videos from his PC, he can basically just chill on his bed. Organization is definitely one of the strong points of this entire setup. Anton did a really great job with the cable management and everything just seems well organized. Nothing is left on the desk and it seems like everything has its own dedicated storage. I'm very pleased to see this. And finally, the PC that's powering the setup has a 6700K and a GTX 980 Ti inside the Corsair 750D case. Overall, this is a very clean and organized setup. Thank you, Anton, for entering. Let's change the gears up a bit and take a look at this very unique Mac setup. Right off the bat, I love the presentation. It's colorful, symmetrical, and very clean. We have a 27-inch Retina iMac on top of the very popular Grove Made Walnut monitor stand. And actually, he's using the Grove Made Walnut set across his entire setup. The keyboard tray, wrist pad, and phone stand. At first glance, I thought there were two monitors on the sides, but those are actually digital art frames. I guess they cycle between photos over time. Definitely haven't seen one of these in a setup yet, and it's very refreshing to see. If I were to describe the setup in one word, I would say personality. Definitely digging the Dwight bobblehead and the swinging sticks from Iron Man 2. This thing looks pretty sick. Excellent work with cable management as well. I can see cable drops being used to hold cables, as well as the blue lounge cable bin that's holding the power strip. Honestly, from the art on the wall to the perpetual calendar and the moose with sunglasses, this is another awesome and unique setup that I've come across on Setup Wars. Thank you, Chris, for entering. At number four, we have Jacob with another ultra wide setup, but this time we have an Acer X34 Predator. The keyboard of choice is the Logitech K810 paired with the Logitech G502 mouse, and for some reason, he has a Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid tucked underneath the desk. There's also the Audio Engine HD6 speakers on both sides of the desk and a pair of Sennheiser HD98 headphones resting on the top. A few other things on the desk include his 13-inch MacBook Retina, a D1 DAC, and an iPad Pro. 
Really great work with the cable management. I can see that you velcroed the wires together against one of the legs and even kept some loose wires wrapped up behind the monitor. I like that. The PC that's located on the ground has a 4790K and an EVGA GTX 980 Ti super clocked and that's packed inside the tiny Corsair 250D case. Other than picking up a hanger for your HD 598s, I would say that this is a very clean and organized ultrawide setup. Thank you Jacob for entering. Last but not least, we have MKBH, I mean uh, Karst, with a very similar setup. On the custom made monitor riser, we have two 24 inch LG displays and below that we have the Logitech G710 Plus keyboard and MX Master Mouse. And that's pretty much it, other than the fake IKEA plant and Edifier Luna Eclipse speakers. I'm not even kidding you guys, I literally set those up before I started recording setup wars. What a coincidence. Cable management looks pretty good, I mean it could definitely be improved by using velcro straps instead of zip ties and maybe even a channel raceway or cable sleeve to hide the wires. And finally, the PC down here has a 4670K and a GTX 960. Honestly guys, if you're going to go with an unlocked CPU, please buy an aftermarket cooler. If you're going to be sticking with the stock heatsink, you can save money and buy the non-K version instead, especially if you're not going to be overclocking. Other than spiffing up the cable management a bit, this is a dope looking setup. Thank you Karst for entering. So which of these setups is the best? Make sure you drop your comments down below and vote. I will announce the winners on Sunday on my social media platforms. That's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.